Hey there YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through my Saturday cleaning routine. I start off my cleaning in the kitchen, generally after I finish breakfast, and I tell you what, on a Saturday, I'm in no hurry to get out of bed, so I drag that out as long as I can. Um, first thing I do is wash up the dishes, because as you can see, that takes up a significant amount of space in my kitchen. So just getting them out of the way straight away really just helps to declutter the space. Always try and put away any breakfast items as well, helping to clear the space or any dishes from the night before. Here I'm taking down things from my windowsill um, and I like to do this in every other room as well. Before I start dusting, I go around and take everything off the surfaces and put them onto the bed or desks or whatnot, things that don't need to be wiped down um, so that it's just super easy when I go around with vinegar, distilled vinegar and the duster just to wipe stuff down and it makes the process a whole heap quicker. Distilled white vinegar is one of my favorite cleaning supplies and you can see that in my eco-friendly minimalist cleaning video. That's one of the main things that I use. I use it in the kitchen to wipe down all the bench tops, wipe out the fridge um, and also just to give things like a bit of a fresh scent as well. But then I also use it just general around the house to dust and um, in the bathroom on some of the surfaces, particularly the roof, to help fight mold. Cleaning out the fridge is really important and I try and make sure to do that once a week at least. Take everything off the shelves, uh, get in there with vinegar and hot water and just make sure I give it a really good wipe down, particularly in the tray where we keep the meat because I think that that has the potential to cause any sort of germs so I definitely don't want that to be grubby. Um, and this is also a really good time for me to just make sure everything is in date and is fresh looking. And if it's not, I will either get rid of it or put it out to use up that night or to make a smoothie with. Now it's on to the family room and first thing I do is go around and dust everything with the vinegar. I take the cushions off the lounge so that when I vacuum, I can vacuum the lounge as well. Um, sometimes we do have you know, food on the lounge and I like to get any crumbs. Open the window to let in a bit of fresh air, a bit of light and wipe down the windowsill. Into my bedroom, I like to start off by making my bed and um, just putting all the pillows up so it looks nice and fresh and tidy. I think just making your bed every day is a really simple tool you can do to keep your room looking nice. I also like to, as I said previously, take things off the top of my bedside tables and give them a really good dust. And I generally put them all back sort of straight away so that that room is done and dusted, quite literally. Wiping down all the surfaces of the bed, the tops, because I find that they can get a little bit dusty. And same deal with the curtains, opening it up, letting some nice light in on this winter afternoon and a little bit of fresh air before 
wiping down the windowsill. And something else that I think goes unnoticed is the skirting timbers. And in every room, I always make sure to wipe down the skirting timbers because sometimes they get a little bit dusty. One of my favorite parts of cleaning is vacuuming. I've got a Dyson vacuum cleaner and honestly, I could not recommend it even more. It's so good. It picks up all the little pieces, all the little bits of dust and um, yeah, I just love it. I find that the simple act of vacuuming really makes a house look, feel and smell so much more fresh. So that's it guys for my little cleaning overview, speed clean, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, 